listen, I have an announcement before we get into the video. My new project, it's only three songs though. My new project, Mary Poppins, will be out on October 1st. Make sure that you check my description box to pre-save it, to pre-order it, so it automatically pops up. Listen, it automatically pops up when it releases on Friday night. And I want y'all to twerk. I want y'all to get y'all life and twerk like y'all always do. I want y'all to use my lyrics as captions. You already know what the vibes is. Give me your, give me your wig. Give me your, give me your, give me your wig. Give me your, give me your, give me your wigs. You don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. And I released the uh, first song off the album on Patreon only. So if you want to go check it out <laughs> before it drops, make sure you go to patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. You know how we plug it in over here. You know how we plug it in over here. Now, uh, speaking of music, what was going on? Real quick off the top of my head, I seen that Lil Nas X told y'all to stop sniffing poppers at his show. <laughs> he told y'all to stop sniffing poppers at his show because like, but you do not need a loose ass to listen to the industry. Baby, like, what is going on? <laughs> Lil Nas said, I never said LGBT last night. I never said LGBT last night. I never said LGBT. <laughs> I said S-I-N. Anyway, what else? Lizzo was playing a flute from the fucking Library of Congress on her show. It's just, I don't know, the iconic power that these black artists are having and it just, it gives me a lot of life. You see what I'm saying? Now, speaking of power, Meghan McCain tweeted this out and it's very interesting because I hate it when the worst person that you know makes a valid point, right? Um, broken clocks kind of deal going on here because she says this, she said this, and we're not gonna talk about her annoying ass for too much fucking longer, but she says this, everyone wants a woman in power until it's a conservative woman in power. And it's just like, yes, Megan, thank you so much for getting the point. We, yes, that's exactly, we, we finally agree on something. We finally have reached a compromise point. We finally have been able to be on the same page, right? Everyone, look at the tweet again. She really thought we were gonna have a problem with her saying this. Thing. Everyone wants a woman in power until it's a conservative woman in power. Well, duh. <laughs> okay, so what do, so you didn't say something very obvious and not, so what do you want us to do with that information? Okay. Y'all, so apparently P Valley is to be renewed for two seasons. We got to see Love Murder for two more seasons. We got to see Diamond for two more seasons. We got to see Mississippi. Am I? Quick like, quick like. Anyway, so Stars Hit series P Valley has yet to be officially renewed following the show's second season. However, sources connected to stars exclusively tell lovebscott.com that the show will be renewed for a third and fourth season. So hopefully those rumors, hopefully those sources are correct because I want, yeah, I need it. It's not even just a matter of wanting something, I need it. And we're gonna, <laughs> I need it. This should be interesting. Please leave your, please leave in the comments who your favorite character is. Um, I feel like I'll be able to judge your personalities based off of who you pick. Cause if I see any, <laughs> cause if I see any of y'all talking about Autumn Night, we gonna have to have a long chat. I'm gonna have to, I don't know. I'm, you're gonna be reported. I don't know if I have to call 911 in order to get an ambulance over here or over there to where you at. If you choose Autumn Night's boring ass, <laughs> Don't nobody, y'all better not pick no Autumn Night in my phone. I better not see Autumn Night in my goddamn comments, bitch. Cause I don't even wanna see her ass on the fucking pole, bitch, are you serious? <laughs> Get her out my face, and she tried to fucking sell the pig off. Like, come on, if y'all pick Autumn Night. So don't ask me the context of this interview cause child, I have no idea. Like, bitch, <laughs> I have no idea, I have no idea. But apparently, Carisha was doing this XXL interview, right? And she said in it, she said, this, this is the one sentence that went just completely across the entire internet. She said she want to be a black Oprah or the next black Oprah is what she said. I guess that's alluding to obviously like her, um, like the show, the talk, she looks cute, the talk show that she has, like interviewing the celebs, celebrities and stuff. And I'm just like, I have been pissed at Carissa for certain things that she didn't say, but bitch, I'm not, y'all want me to be mad at this shit that she said she want to be the next black Oprah? And I am not mad at it. <laughs> I am not mad at it. Like, y'all know exactly what she's talking about. And for people to get on here talking about, oh my God, you, Carisha, is it Oprah? But you don't, Carisha's stupid as fuck. She don't know. Listen, like I said, Carisha just said some dumb ass shit in the bitch. This shit is funny as fuck, bitch. <laughs> Like, y'all don't understand. Like, y'all understand how hard I laughed at that shit. 
Like, and the girls are so pissed. Like, some people are so mad. Like, oh my God, how dare she disrespect her? And she's a black woman. And she, Oprah is obviously black. You need to tell me you look at a picture of Oprah. You can't touch me. But, bitch, if you don't get it, just move out the way, girl. Because I, I'm telling you, when I saw that shit, I was <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. I'm not gonna get into more detail on that shit. I'm not gonna be describing why I feel the way I feel. <laughs> Cause they finna eat my ass up. They finna, they finna eat my ass up about Miss Oprah now. They finna eat my ass up about Miss Oprah, okay? Um, but I cackled, like I cackled. <laughs> I'm sorry, but when I seen a tweet that said somebody, cause somebody had said with the caption, like retweeted what Carisha said with this caption. They said, was you silent? Or was you silent head? <laughs> I'm so, it's probably not that funny. It's probably not that funny, but like, I'm, I'm laughing, so maybe it is. <laughs> a lot of people are acting like Oprah finna see this shit from her big ass castle, and it's just like, girl, first of all, <laughs> she's, she's not. Second of all, she, do, do she even, <laughs> let, me, let me not. I, let me not. Let me not. We're gonna move on to the next topic because y'all finna drag this shit out. <laughs> y'all finna drag. Y'all finna drag. Okay, and since we're talking about Carisha, let's just go on over to Santana. I don't know where this was. I don't know what concert this shit was. <laughs> but they done made so many memes of Santana Hop doing this two step. I mean, I done heard the, the goddamn one hop this time, <laughs> two hop this time. I seen that meme. There was another, they said, they said Santana looked like the Pixar lamp. <laughs> and they edited that shit, bitch. I'm, yo, I don't know what's going on this week. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on this week. That shit had me fucking, cr cr like, I was like, yo, the internet is absolutely crazy. The internet is, is crazy. Like, Santana hopping up and down on that fucking, uh, that Pixar logo had me, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yo, so I, I be wondering, cause let me tell you something. The few times I've been on stages, right? I, I don't remember doing certain motions or doing certain actions. It, and I'm not on nobody's big ass stage, right? It's just very much cute little audiences, not no big ass arenas. So I can't even imagine the adrenaline that like overcomes your body when you're doing, when you're performing. And then like, I, I really like watching yourself back doing certain things. You're just like, how? <laughs> How did I even get to that point? How, how did that happen? So I would love to see like like just people in general, like performers in general, their reaction to some of the things that they do on stage. And if they ever considered that some of the shit would become a meme, because I was crying. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So Rihanna posted this on her Instagram, just basically confirming that she will be performing at the Super Bowl halftime show. Um, Y'all already know when it comes to the Super Bowl, it gives very much, especially for my gay ass, it gives very much uh, why are they playing football at a musical concert. I am very interested to see how this goes though because if we're talking about hits, if we're talking about, you know what I mean, radio, just taking over the fucking radio, Rihanna is just not going to run out of songs. So I think that the most challenging part of this shit will be to figure out the set list because <laughs> Miss Mamas has hits on every fucking album, right? I just want to know who the guests are going to be because I feel like you got to bring out guests. Like you got to, you had, like she has a cool ass um, collaborations and shit. As, like you got to bring out guests. I'm already imagining how the stage is going to look for when she, Inevitably is going to give us a piece of umbrella, Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh. There are just so many creative concepts that you could put when you're when you that you could use when you're talking about how the stage looks, what things that could be happening. You talk about effects and shit. There's so many interesting ways that you could go based off of the concepts for some of her hits. You talking about SNM, you talking about shut up and drive, you talking it's just so many places that you could go. Like I said, ain't nobody watching that fucking football game. Like, that's, let's just be real about that. Ain't nobody watching that fucking football game. If I wanted to see men smack each other on the ass and tackle each other and roll around with each other on the goddamn ground, all I have to do is turn on some fucking porn. Like, I, I don't know what y'all want me to, what y'all want me to say about that shit. I'm not watching that goddamn football game. But what I will be paying attention to is the music, is the concert that's happening on, on the field. So, they were on social media talking about Rihanna's going to be looking up the lyrics to her own songs because she's been away from music for so long. Rihanna said, look, first of all, music ain't making me no coin like that. It, when I, when I 
switched over to that beauty shit and fancy shit, I started raking in them I mean, I already was raking them coins, but I was really raking in them coins. Bitch, they said that she, she gonna have ring lights and mirrors and shit and makeup bags and shit on stage at, at the Super Bowl. <laughs> she said, bitch, I'm making so much coin in, in this makeup, beauty, fashion shit, then wh why would I step my ass back in the studio, bitch? Y'all better dance to this old shit. I'm gonna give give y'all a little work, baby. I'm gonna give y'all a little work, bitch, and I'm gonna get my ass back to work. The fuck? That's what she's. <laughs> that's what she's saying. That's what she's at. So I'm very curious to see what they cooking up. Speaking of things being cooked up, the Florida coastline is being is currently being cooked up by. Uh, that, that hurricane down there, I think it's Hurricane Ian. Y'all, please be safe. I think even some of that shit's even gonna touch Georgia, so please, it's, it's crazy down there. Um, and speaking of crazy ass, Florida, Ron DeSantis, look at this shit. A new Ron DeSantis appointee has just resigned after photos emerged of him wearing a KKK outfit. DeSantis appointed him to run Florida's only predominantly black County. Gadsden County religious leaders are demanding a local commissioner and Governor Ron DeSantis uh, come forward to address allegations that the commissioner resigned last Friday after a photo surfaced reportedly showing him wearing a KKK robe and hood at what could have been a Halloween party years earlier. So his name, I guess, is Jeffrey Moore. He's a Havana resident and he just abruptly resigned after the photo started circulating. DeSantis appointed him in late July, so it was only a couple months. <laughs> and he left. Three years ago, though, another DeSantis appointee uh, resigned from office after a similar incident involving a leaked photo. Michael Erto, the Secretary of State, resigned after photos emerged of him posing as a Hurricane Katrina victim in blackface years earlier at a private Halloween party. You know, it's one thing to just automatically know what is going on and to just see the obvious, but then to get it confirmed like this in such an explicit way is crazy. That man is exactly who you think he is and he's surrounding himself with people who think in the same fucking way. And it's just, and they, they know who these people are when they appoint them and they, and DeSantis appointed this motherfucker to a predominantly black fucking county. They know exactly what the fuck they doing. And then there was this whole like trafficking scheme weird thing going on with asylum seekers that Ron DeSantis apparently orchestrated. It's just fucking terrible. So yeah, that's the one political headline that like I noticed this week because honestly I've been avoiding all that shit. I've just been avoiding that shit. So yeah, that's all I want to talk about. Thank y'all so much for checking out the video. Love you so much. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. Hey, 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 hey. Fuck me in your all black Mercedes. Mercedes. You can take my soul, just let me.